Hey guys, Gathering the Magic back again with another daily rewards claim for Saturday. And I'm also going to do a quick uh, market update for booster packs, how the sales have gone in the last week. So let's start with my main account. We have 10 silver chests to claim and up to 24 for the season. Had some good luck this week, so hope the luck continues. Got a couple gold cards on the main account. And some epics on the other accounts, so the rewards are going good lately. Starting with a Pelicor Bandit, 30 merits. There we go. This is the account I want to get merits on. Bloodmaker, Potion, a little bit of SPS. Volgine, haven't seen that card in a while. Pelicor Deceiver, Potion, a little bit of SPS. So good. Four cards and 30 merits. We'll take that. Not bad. See what the focus is, and then we'll claim our SPS. I did manage to come up with enough funds to get ready for Rift Watchers. So I will be purchasing 100 packs, and then I have enough vouchers to get the 10 bonus packs. So can't wait for Thursday. Claim some more SPS. So I'm hoping for a last minute pump in the SPS price. Uh, right now I have enough SPS and vouchers to get 100 packs. Oh, another thing I wanted to share with you guys too. Picked up two beta packs this morning. For some reason someone was selling them under $30. I think I actually got them for around 26 or so. So picked up two more beta packs for the collection. So extremely happy with that. And let's see, I'll leave the SPS here for now. Let's go check out the second account. And we have eight bronze chests to collect. We're up to 46 bronze chests for the season. But getting lucky on this account with some epics lately, so that's always good. Okay, starting off with a potion, <laughs> two merits. Can't use those. Bloodmaker. A little bit of SPS. Potion. SPS. Oh, 0.1, so a little bit more. So we got one card. Not sure if I have an SPS to claim or not. A little bit harder on the bronze account to get up to one SPS to claim every day. Okay, we have life. I just did that one, so I'd like to get a different focus. Come on, stealth. Healing. Well, they really want me to play life. Ah, just a little bit short. So I'll have to grind a little bit more to get that over one so I can claim that. And let's go to the final account and then we will check the markets for packs. Okay, have eight chests to claim here and up to eight silver for the season. Definitely hoping for cards on this account. Okay, starting with the Gargoya Devil, and I may need that card to actually combine. So SPS. All right, fractions of SPS, but not too bad. Plus, we got a Gargoya Devil. So I want to check real quick for reward cards. Gargoya Devil. Yep, we have enough to combine to level two. I'm trying to think what he gets at level two. Is it one more health? One more speed. Okay, so that helps. And do I have enough SPS? Nope. Not even close. And death is the focus. Good. So I want to check quickly the packs for last week. So alpha packs in the last week, only two sold. And the price went up just a little bit, $5. So this isn't really the going price. This is what the last pack sold at. So, for example, beta packs were selling for like $48 a couple weeks ago. Last week, $38. This week, $26. This is just somebody liquidating their packs. Like I said, I picked up two beta packs today for about $26 a piece and was very happy for that. I think these should be more in the $40 range. Especially when you see that Untamed is selling pretty consistently, just under 30. 
there's a lot fewer beta packs than Unlimited. So if you have a chance and you have the funds and would like to get some older packs for long-term hold, beta is in a great price range without being too expensive, but being one of the original sets. And then looking at dice, pretty consistently, around 30 packs sell a week. Price ticked up a little bit. Uh, for some reason, Orb a week ago, there was huge 400 packs sold. Uh, this week, only 38, and the price did come down a little bit. Um, the main thing I thought was kind of shocking in a way, for Chaos Legion, not even 30,000 packs sold last week. So I know a lot of it is because of Rift Watchers right around the corner and people getting ready for that, but we had sold 127,000 the week before, and now this week down under 30. So, and the price is about the same. So there you have it, guys. There's just a quick update on the market for booster packs and my daily opening. Um, thanks for watching the videos, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I upload content pretty regularly, usually one video a day, sometimes two. Um, if you have any questions, leave the questions in the comment section below. Um, are you guys ready for Rift Watchers? Um, do you have your funds ready? Are you going to purchase right away when it, the pre-sale goes live? Or are you going to hold off a while and maybe wait for the SPS price to jump and then buy some packs? Uh, let me know your strategies in the comment section, and I will come back with a video very soon. Thanks, guys. Take care, and happy grinding.